Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we get to build Schlob Modular's State Variable Filter, or SVF, an OTA-based filter with many interesting options and possibilities. It features three outputs for low-pass, high-pass and band-pass responses. There's an attenuverter for one of the two CV inputs, two audio inputs and jumpers in the back to define your sonic preferences. All of this in just 4 HP. In the kit bag, you get the power cable, all of the hardware components, the ICs and their sockets, the passive electronic components, two PCBs and the panel. Schlobe also kindly sent me some nice blank panels, stickers and a cup holder. They also included the full kit for their Mini ATT, a very useful 2HP passive dual attenuator and summer with mute switches, which complements the SVF perfectly. I started with the ATT just to warm up. It was a very quick build. It's basically three resistors, two pots, five jacks, two switches. Plug everything in, fit and tighten the panel, then solder, easy peasy. Now let's go to the main course, the SVF. As usual, I started with the resistors and diodes, except for the 2K resistor that goes between the transistor pair. I soldered them from the top, then trimmed and touched up the soldering from the back. Next, I snapped on the IC sockets. I normally solder one pin from each socket first to secure them, then solder the rest. Then came the bypass capacitors, the tiny 100 nanofarad ones. Followed by those nice red Wima film caps. Mind the orientation indicated on the silk screen when installing the transistors. Now's a good time to install that 2K resistor that goes between them. The same goes for the electrolytic capacitors. Now carefully snap the ICs into their sockets, again mindful of their orientation. Let's move on to the panel PCB for a moment, solder on the three resistors and install the trim pot. Back to the main PCB, install the headers for the jumpers, followed by the power header. You can use the panel to hold all the headers in place as you turn the board over to solder. Then install the right angle long header that will connect both boards together. Back to the panel PCB, place but don't solder the pots and jacks. Fit the panel and finger tighten all of the nuts. Then turn it around to solder. Finally, stick the comm header through the panel board's hose and solder it up. In the manual, you will find a description of what jumpers to use for your particular preferences and how to set the trim pot. That's it for now, make sure you watch the demo video next. I made a complete song using the SVF in every track. See you soon and stay noisy.